Good afternoon, James Hornsby. Uh, it's Mr. Thomas here. Uh, just wanted to um, run through with you through how to use uh, Google Classrooms. We're still getting quite a few people message us and call us saying you're struggling to upload certain documents. Uh, so I just wanted to give you a very quick run through, very brief of how to do this. Um, so first of all, if you log on to your Google Classroom, um, hopefully you'll have something similar to this, except yours will say English, Math, Science, etc. Uh, first of all, to join a class, once you're logged on with your at jameshornsby.org.uk email, you'll click on this little plus button up here and you'll join a class. All of these class codes that you're being asked for here are available on the school website. Um, they're there, they have been ever since we uh, went into lockdown. So you'll type in your class code, click join, and it will take you into the relevant class. Uh, for this example, I'm going to go into Miss Goodwin's uh, geography class because I'm under this one as a student to give you an example. This is what it will look like on the face of it. On the stream, it will be a little bit like a Facebook or Twitter stream with lots of information. Some uh, teachers have been posting work here. Others, uh, it's a place for students to ask questions. Uh, so keep an eye on it. There's usually some quite important announcements on there. Um, if you are then to click on to classwork at the very top here, you'll see that this is an overview of all the topics that Miss Goodwin has set for her year 10 class. Uh, so if I was to first of all go into the first piece of uh, work that Miss sent, we'll go to hot deserts here. And as you can see, there's a couple of um, videos, there's some work to we'll look through. Sometimes teachers will upload PowerPoints or assessments here, um, all of which you can download and access. And if you're having trouble, then I would comment just in here. Uh, and just ask any questions you may have. Um, if I was to click on this in a bit more detail, as you can see now it's opened it up and I've got a lot more options to go for. So if I was a little bit worried about some of the questions I was asking, I might uh, do a private comment to the teacher. Uh, if you're worried about it being a silly question, none of, no questions are silly, but you have that option. Um, you also got some class comments here, which you can help each other out with and ask a teacher. You also have over here your work. As you can see at the moment, mine is currently missing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna remove this example for a second. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the work that I've been doing in a Word document. So I'll click on add or create, go to file, because hopefully I've saved this as a Word document on my laptop or computer. I'll go select files from your device. And I'm gonna to go to, in this case, my desktop and I've got the Mr. Thomas Home Learning. So I'm gonna click open on that and I'm gonna click upload at the bottom left. As you can see, that is now uploading over here on the right hand side. And once it's done, anything else you need to add on, you just keep clicking on add or create every single time and you upload as much as you need to. Once you've done that and you're happy, you can click on hand in. Hand in your work, one attachment will be submitted for development opportunities in the hot desert, hand in. That is now done and you can see there I've handed that in late. Uh, that teacher will now know that I've done it, but it's been done late. If it's on time, it will say on time. Uh, you can do have the option of unsubmitting, but there's no reason for you to be doing that. And Miss Goodwin will now get a message saying that Mr. Thomas has done this work and she'll have an opportunity to go through it and give me some feedback. Um, this is a very basic overview. Um, and as we get more questions coming in um, from uh, parents and students, we'll look to answer those as we go. But I hope this has been helpful in the first instance. Look after each other and we'll see you very soon. Thank you. Bye.